assalamu alaikum i am tayeba bint ikbal and in this presentation i will be briefly explaining my final year project titled design and implementation of fuzzy logic controller for rc car using image based feedback my partner for this project was larib amjad and this has been supervised by sirif khan the main objective of this project was to develop a low cost fuzzy logic controller using image based feedback for a remote controlled car In the future this algorithm can be built upon to subsequently provide an FLC or a fuzzy logic controller for quadcopter as well. This block diagram represents the logical sequence of the final integrated setup of the fuzzy logic controller for RC car. First, we studied the model response of the car by measuring its response in terms of direction and distance covered to varying voltage levels. Then we designed a Mamdani type FAS in MATLAB based on this response which takes the distance between the RC car and its desired final position as input this distance input is provided by our image based feedback algorithm once this is fed to the fuzzy logic controller the fuzzy logic controller returns time output which specifies the duration of the final output for the car this timed output is fed to Arduino Uno which generates a digital signal of the specified duration and feeds it to the specific controls of the remote control the remote control finally transmits this uh, signal to the car which covers distance in the respective direction accordingly i would now like to talk about our image processing algorithm that we are using to provide feedback to the fuzzy logic controller We have used the built-in webcam of our laptop for image acquisition and uh, specified a resolution of 960 by 540. This is the field of view that we fixed for our project. We have used simple color thresholding technique for real-time object detection. Um, binary segmentation masks created using color thresholding allow us to easily separate the car in parking lot from the rest of the frame. as we can see in the next two slides here we can see that the binary segmentation mask for the rc car has detected and separated the car from the rest of the frame including its final desired position or the parking lot which is marked by this paper here similarly the binary segmentation mask detects and segments the parking lot from the rest of the frame Once we detected their objects, we then used region prop to determine their centroids or pixel coordinates, and then converted these pixel coordinates to Cartesian coordinates using our curve fitting model. The curve fitting model take pixel coordinates of a point on the floor and return its distance along x and y axis in inches. Um, the distances of the car in parking lot from the x and y axis were then simply subtracted to finally obtain the distance of the car from the parking lot in inches. A uh, more over curve fitting also allows us to mitigate perspective view error and it returned accurate results with an error of less than 0.5 inch in each iteration. This is an example of position determination where the coordinates of the car are its pixel coordinates and the position along x and y axis in inches are its Cartesian coordinates obtained from the curve fitting model. Once we had integrated the software and the hardware and obtained a final prototype, we devised three test cases of our final integrated setup according to the position of the RC car with respect to the parking lot. This is the first test case when the car is situated below the parking lot, and this demo video and the subsequent demo videos will really clarify and highlight the purpose and benefit of our project. This is the second test case when the car is situated in front of the parking lot and we can see from this demo video and the previous one that we only have to do the work of placing our car in the field of view of the camera and our algorithm does the rest of the work for us of moving the car from its start position to its desired position and this is our last test case when the car is situated above the parking lot Finally I would like to thank you for joining me for this presentation